Search efforts were hampered by the weather in Baltimore today. As the grim reality set in, the officials were now searching for bodies rather than survivors. The names of two of the victims have been identified by their families as Maynor Suazo Sandoval, a 38-year-old married father of two from Honduras who'd been living in the US for 18 years, and Miguel Luna, originally from El Salvador, a husband and father of three. Both were construction workers on the Francis Scott Key Bridge, whose vehicles can be seen in the middle here with flashing lights, just moments before a 32,000 tonne cargo vessel slammed into one of the bridge's main support columns in the early hours of Tuesday morning. The top priority for me right now is still the recovery. We've got to bring these families closure. Now that we've transitioned to the recovery phase, my promise to them is this, I will devote every single resource to making sure that you receive closure. Overnight, government investigators managed to board Dali, a 300-metre-long Singapore-listed ship, to retrieve its black box and begin to piece together why it suddenly lost power and propulsion as it headed out of Baltimore Harbour en route to Sri Lanka, laden with stacks of containers. Oh, my gosh! No way in hell I just witnessed that! The moment of impact was captured by a local who happened to be filming this ship as it approached. Francis Scott Key Bridge just got hit by a cargo ship. We now know the ship issued a May Day alert and police hurried to stop the traffic. Had they not, many more cars would have plunged into the icy water. This audio is of police dispatches about 90 seconds before the bridge collapsed. I need one of you guys on the south side, one of you guys on the north side, hold all traffic on the key bridge. Uh, there's a ship approaching that just lost their steering. So that until you get that under control, we got to stop all traffic. They did manage to stop the traffic and tried to get a warning to the construction workers too. Ten four, is there a crew working on the bridge right now? Uh, there's a crew up there. You might want to notify whoever the foreman is, see if we can get them off the bridge temporarily. But before they could warn the workers, this. The whole bridge just fell down. The whole bridge just collapsed. As divers continue to search for the six construction workers who lost their lives, investigators attempt to fathom how such a giant ship lost power so quickly and why the bridge crumpled as easily as it appeared to. What we do know is a bridge like this one, completed in the 1970s, was simply not made to withstand a direct impact on a critical support pier from a vessel that weighs about 200 million pounds, orders of magnitude bigger than cargo ships that were in service in that region at the time that the bridge was first built. The Transport Secretary said today that lessons would be learned in the construction of the new bridge, but warned rebuilding would not be quick or easy or cheap. The recovery effort, he said, would be a long, difficult path.